Emily's fighting with the Wizard. He's got the single leg up high. Emily's staying tight with the Wizard. He's that looking to whip her down. Goes, oh, Gonzalez nice able to defend, get the leg back. Fun fact, uh, Lisette wrestled Emily's sister, Brianna, in the state finals of the high school championships her senior year. Red action. They're calling for a, t a red action. Fighting two on one here is Emily Gonzalez. Part of that very accomplished club team out there in Selma Wrestling Club. Worked really good with Coach Tran over at Arroyo High School in Almani. That's a program that's building out there. He's at part of the James Logan crew before the Pendry. Here we go, circling here is, is Emily, collecting the wrist. He's at have her in the red zone. Emily defending. He's at using the underhook. Emily going two on one to the right side. He's at circles out. Okay, good hand fight here. He's at going hard club, trying to get that front headlock. Emily circles out, goes single leg, high crotch to the right side. She's pressuring in. He's at climbing over the top, looking for ankles. Looks like she's got one. Emily driving forward. Up, oh, referee stops it. Calling attention red. Oh, girl's got a little tied up there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it was a good shot, though. Yeah, well timed. Got yeah, she deep. waited for her opening and was able to get in right away. I think at this level, you start seeing them be more efficient with their shots. So they're not yeah. going to take too many of them, but they're going to be more efficient. So here you go, good hand fight going. Lots of motion here. Emily cutting angles. Coming Another straight high forward. Scene. Not really going to get that shot on someone as tall and used to using her body as uh, Lizette. Lizette going two on one this time. Emily fighting with elbow control now into her own two on one. Lizette blocking off one point for Rodriguez. Non score. Lizette with the fingers here. Referees looking at attention here. There we go. Is that keeping good head position? Oh, there was another Only shot. taking a shot. Going two on one again here. Blue action again. That's the third shot. Reattack for Lizette. And we get stretching out that leg. And look at that good mat awareness. Able to circle back in on a single leg on her own. Almost got the push out again. These girls are battling. Very good mat awareness. And we staying low. Is that backing in? Going two on one again is Emily Gonzalez. Bringing that two on one in position and far leg attack again. Is that pressing with that underhook position? Four seconds left. They're going to go into the break. One nothing lead for Lizette. Smart wrestling, smart wrestling there from both athletes. I could see at the end Emily was trying to recover that point by trying to push out Lizette. But. Yeah, both showing very good single leg defense in that situation. They both got to a leg attack. Uh, really impressive was how Lizette had that single leg up real high and Emily was able to regain position. Yeah, both times. In a very California heavy semifinal here <laughs> with uh, Matt Avila on the next mat over is California wrestler as well. Very West Coast with uh, <laughs> Sterling Diaz over from Nevada. Here we go back into the position again. Starting the second period. Gonzalez going two on one, snap down here, re -attack. Beautiful single leg there. There we go, Lizette caught over the top. Emily coming out. Oh, the good defense continuing to wrestle through position. She's got the single leg up high. She's gonna take her time here. She's got plenty of time. Here we go. Oh. Don't get, get the two, bring her in, bring her in. Looking to Jack and the two oh. on the edge. You can see, look at the clock here, both wrestlers, okay. Plenty of time, still plenty of match to go. Beautiful sequence there, smart wrestling, bringing her back in and not getting that push up front, but getting the two for the takedown. And here we go, hand fighting again. So snap down, get her motion going, got her hands down. Is that just kind of keeping distance? Emily staying low stance, good defense. Is that goes club, Emily immediately goes two on one, controlling the elbow. Does a good job of keeping that arm straight. You see that there, Alicia? Yeah. Head position. Oh, beautiful. Again. I see it. Sitting yeah. down. Oh, cutting back. 
He's set, looking, look at Emily going on oh, elbow lock here, going to exposure. And so, Chair's calling for two and two. Emily's keeping the arm controlled. There we go, back up. So they went two and two on that exposure. Score is six, three Gonzalez right now. Coach Alexio telling her stay focused. Staying in mind there. He's doing, got his athletes mental state in check. Just 30 seconds left, six, three lead for Gonzalez. He's that's kind of staying back. Emily's kind of timing her, her contact. I think he's that's hoping to get her trying to come inside. Yeah. Try to time her off of that. Emily's doing a good job of keeping her position, not advancing too aggressive. She's letting the match come to her. A minute 10 left. Sorry, there's a minute on the clock. I didn't see it. Someone's heading away. Probably my own. Um, <laughs> was that looking front headlock there? Good. Emily circles out of it. Two on one again. Going club in this position. Now, Alicia, in this situation, if you're Gonzalez, are you looking to keep continuing to shoot? Or are you looking to kind of manage the match here? I mean, at this high of a level, especially with semis going into finals, um, if the opening was there, I'd take it, but I'm not going to risk any more points being scored Absolutely. with such a tight match. Lizette going fighting off the two on one, back squared up, now straight shot. Gonzalez, hard defense, look at that extension right there, looking go behind here, into her own leg attack. Look at, and really good job there of not taking a high risk attack, but yeah. getting the leg, showing the ref, hey look, we're continuing to work here. Yeah, she's doing a phenomenal job here, working and like still trying to score, but being smart about it. Yes. A two on one, she's bringing it back out. Pushing off. All right, that's it. Kehlani Shufo from Marina High School in California. She's got a tall drink of water with the number one seed, Kendra Ryan. Kehlani's really done a good job of just getting it done very yeah. quickly throughout the tournament. She's had so much improvement over the years. Yeah, since she's gone to college, her offense has really opened up, and she's really gotten aggressive with her offense. So that's really the biggest growth I think I've seen since she's been you know, advanced up into the college ranks. Yeah, I've actually so, trained with her. She just her will of wanting to shot, getting the takedown, getting to work really quick. Yeah, Kilani will hand fight very hard and drag that match out, and then when she gets her opportunities, she'll strike and she will. She's very aggressive on top. Yeah. Those arm bars. Can Ryan up with a 2 0 lead. You don't want to get, if you're Kendra Ryan, you don't want to get lulled into this hand fight. Because yeah. Kehlani will keep the match close, and when she attacks, really gives herself a chance to get criteria or, or even build up on top. There you go, Kendra Ryan again in on the shot, staying low, staying single leg here. She really needs to shelf that leg across the body. See, Kehlani's very strong, got good hips here. Was able to fight off that takedown. She has very good positioning as well. She knows where she's at at all times. Well, Kilani is one of the girls that, in the college ranks that was able to qualify for the Olympic qualifier yeah. for the Open. She took fifth place, I believe. So, here we go, Kendra Ryan getting back to the center. Restart two nothing. Minute fifty left. And this is kind of all going into the team race here too with North Central. Yeah. You know, beating these wins. There we go. Kelani pressing forward. And there she goes. There she goes, underhook, snap. Looking for that uh, front headlock. And Ryan circles out. 
The passive on blue, lack of scoring. Again, the difference between freestyle and folk styles. It's not stalling, it's lack of scoring. Yeah. Here's, here's Ryan on the shot again. She really needs to get that foot up to her hip. Yeah. Pressure, pressure in. But she felt doing a good job of getting heavy hips. Coming back out here. Kendra Ryan's been in on three shots so far. Kehlani's been able to neutralize two of them. And so Ryan's got the 2-0 lead, nothing bigger than that. Just good, solid defense. There you go, hand fighting. You know, she's gonna, she's gonna give you that good hand fight, strong positioning, but not really take too many risks in that first period. Kind of wears your opponent down too. And yeah. It's a little bit frustrating when you stop their shots and they just start second guessing themselves. Like, wow, yeah. wait, I'm not finishing these shots. You know? but especially with only a 2-0 lead. Yes. Like Any shot bad shot space. can be scored on and tied the match. What's interesting though is that we don't really have a warning yet. Oh, we have a warning early on. Yeah. Huh? So we've got 17 seconds left in this period. Here we go, three seconds left, hand fighting in the center. It's time, here we go. See, and this is what we're talking about. Yeah. He was able to neutralize those leg attacks and continue the hand fight. Now look for her to start opening up probably about a minute in to the second period. She's going to start seeing her pick up those leg attacks. Coach is giving cues here. North Central coaching staff. Coach Norton in the corner. He checks the other mat, see how everything's going. Here we go, back in the center, mat two. Here goes Kehlani picking up her activity, see? Yeah, there she goes. Bringing the speed a little bit more in this yep. period as well. Ryan not really setting up, just kind of diving in here. Going blue action again. again. Kendra Ryan trying to block out or trying to circle back in. Kilani blocking off those underhook. Going snap for a headlock. Nope. Good movement. Kilani really Kehlani, is there you, there you go. And look at that. See? Just over 30 seconds in, where I said she was going to start yeah. bringing up her leg attacks. And she's so strong, it's going to be very difficult for Ryan. Like, oh, there's the a cradle. And now this is a problem. There's that. Oh, and that's done. For that that's, there it is. Kehlani Shuka makes the finals. Taking out Kendra Ryan. I think we called that pretty good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> there she goes. Kehlani Shuka in the finals. business.
catch up. This match is Felicity Taylor versus Samara Chavez. Taylor the four, Samara Chavez the one. Chavez is the one that is just gonna literally show headlock you from any position. Well, it Chavez qualified um, for the Olympic Chavez. trials as well, right? Yes. She goes for it. Felicity Taylor is a, I a U20 uh, world team member in the past. Uh -huh. At least she took last year off due to an injury. She's got a little sparkle in her hair, though, huh? Yeah, see that? <laughs> Here we go, a little, little attack there. Some custom shoes for uh, Felicity with the, with the Iowa logo pink right Iowa there. logo on the Knights. Here we go, elbow control for Taylor. Chavez backs out. Fakes by Taylor Chavez. Oh, Chavez, Ch as, gonna, as they warn Chavez for lack of scoring. Here we go. Taylor moving forward. Chavez backing into the shot. Taylor able to. Uh, Chavez right, coming from headlock. That's headlock you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Really tight. Chavez is crafty. Point passivity on blue. Now each one's been worn. Next one will be on the clock. Here we go. Taylor going for hand fight. Chavez. Oh, low Ooh, single. Low, low single. single. She brings it up. Shelves it. Crawling up. Taylor concedes. There we go. Chavez on top. Job is very good. Again, one of those wrestlers you see that just attacks from the top. Those hip, those hips. There we go. Trying to wing it over. Yep. Oh, oh, Almost a little bit too aggressive, huh? Like, yeah. Let up the pressure. Taylor felt it. Well, especially when up. you have wrestlers this intelligent with their craft, like you have to be really smart with every single thing you do. Yes. Here we go. Back to the center. Collar ties to 2 1 score for Chavez. One minute left in this period. Taylor going two on one. Chavez fighting the upper hand. Some debate on which hand to fight. Yeah. You know, depending on what your follow up offense is going to be. Chavez is really fighting that tone, spins out. Taylor following, goes two on one, well. back to that two on one again. Just very disciplined with sticking with the game plan. Look at that. And look at that. Craftiness for Chavez. And Chavez will launch you. Gotta be careful there, too. There's another point there. Both wrestlers give oh, very and, good and pressure. For and one. Oh, and one against Taylor. So now you're looking at a 4 1 score. <laughs> I mean, giving up that one, some, like, instead of getting launched, I mean, it may have been the right call. Yeah, the and one makes it kind of a thing, though, right? Like, yeah. okay, like you thought you were giving up one, you end up giving up two, but, I mean, what more could you really do to stay in bounds there? Yeah. That really is, is a question I'd like to be able to ask in the moment, you know, yeah. like, what, what other action could you make? Last 10 seconds coming down here. Taylor just sticking with that two-on-one. Ooh, Ooh, shoots, gets in, but Chavez is... There we go. All right, two, four to one at the half. We're going one period in, coming in the second period. All right, Chavez. Coach Mormon getting Chavez to open up her lungs a little bit. Here we go up. Taylor giving herself a little a couple of wake up taps. Here she goes. Four to one score. Now if you're 
regular, you're gonna look to try to tra capitalize on these two on ones, right? Yeah, because that's what she's been getting close to scoring every time. Samara can see that though, trying to fight out of it. Absolutely. Taylor going to front headlock, looking underhook. Chavez keeping control of that wrist, making it kind of hard for Taylor to come around. She's snapping down, She's chasing backside. Chavez squaring up. Yeah, Gives up the two. Two twenty-two left in the clock. Listen, just staying tough, looking leg lace here, chasing down. Dang, she might yeah, have it. She's, she's got it trapped. Well, this might be a problem for Chavez. Yeah. And here goes Taylor. Two. She's now got the lead, 5-4. Felicity going for that. Yeah. Might be able to get, get it. She's got to fight in that top hand. She's got there Taylor. She oh, she's got to slip. There we go, back up, 5-4. Woo! You want to really be careful with that. Yeah. Really, really be careful. Taylor fixing her hair. Mm -hmm. Give herself a couple of wake up taps. Taylor must have a little bit of a confidence boost now too, considering mm -hmm. that she's now ahead after being down by three points. Yes. Here we go. Chavez. Starting out a little slow in this period. Sometimes too, you wonder about some of the athletes who come out really hot. You know, yeah. is it, is it, you know, that heart rate, the emotional, you know, heightenedness, kind of give you that pre-exhaustion. She looks up at the ref. Okay, here we go. She's back in. She's keeping space this time. Taylor's not really looking to close distance like she has been. Where she's fighting those two-on-ones and, yeah. you know, a little difference of a game plan now when you see that she's not behind anymore. And she's kind of letting the match come to her. The ref starts to back up. Come on, ladies, get it going, he tells them. There we go, Chavez fixing the hair. All right, now they're moving. Wrist control. A shot from space. Again, one of those shots not really set up, just kind of blowing in, you know? Yeah. Looks up at the clock, one minute. One minute left. A little over a minute left, there you go. Now there Taylor she is, back in her, on yeah. One. Keeping control of Chavez. I mean, because even if she stays there, she's in a safer position because she scores there so many times already. Yes. Just managing the match right now. Yeah. Smart. Yep. She's kind of given the illusion of a leg attack. You know, referee will kind of mention attention to both of them without giving them an official warning. And here goes Chavez with the under again. 30 seconds left, Chavez. Now she's starting to pick up that pace, yep. I mean. Taylor's really managing the match. Chavez kind of pushing her back. I think she's going to try to gain some ground here. And looks shot here. Taylor looking up at the clock. Chavez trying to control Chavez. Taylor just here. trying to she's keep that front headlock here yeah. in the next 10 seconds. Win that Chavez match. Well, oh, Chavez trying to go. Who she'll see in the finals. <laughs> it's so funny that I look at half of them are looking at Taylor when they say it, the other half looking at the other map. Yeah. The support from all the families there in that Iowa crowd is incredible. Yes. Again, just like the men's team, right? They're bringing the biggest crowd. Yeah. And Making it known that they're here. Yeah. Kind of that extra person on the bench, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we saw it yesterday. That crowd makes a difference in matches. Think we're going up to the next match, or are we going to hold this match? Popcorn time.
Hill, Matt Du, Shelby Moore versus Virginia Ford. 123 pound semifinal. Shelby Moore from McHenry, Virginia Ford King. here. Virginia Ford getting called attention. Back inside. Look at this. Ford in immediately under the high crotch. Transitioning off. More doing kind of a split. Coming back up to single leg is Ford. Ford staying tight on this attack. Keeping it very tight. Yep, just going to take the one. There we go. Just letting her continue to work. Okay. There's one point step out there. I mean, think about the moves that these programs must have put yeah. together. You know, all these semifinals. And like a shut by into a trap arm gut. Immediately into the trap arm gut. There goes Ford trying to run her feet. Moore doing a good job of hipping down. That was a great caught, catch of the trap arm, but Moore did a good job of fighting, it off fighting that, that trap arm out. Yeah. I mean, King here with two matches has time to make up points team-wise. Yeah, with North Central dropping several matches this, this round. Really. Yeah, King can catch up. Gain some ground, at least, right? Yeah. Gain some ground. They're giving Iowa the chance to, to move forward. Good hand fight going on again here. And this time, Moore is going to be worn. Minute 10, 11 left. I'm telling her, okay, time to get going. So she, I think she'll be on the clock. Or is that just a warning on the first one? No, just a warning. Okay. Moving forward, got wrist control for taking ground. One minute left. There we go. Candy's taking ground more. She's trying to snap down. Ford ready for it. I mean, who, who do you think is feeling a little sharper right now? I think Where's Ford, yeah. personally. More in on the shot. And Ford is ready for it. She's going back side. Yeah, oh, she goes. Puts her on her back immediately, but transitions right into the lace. Almost there. Transitioning here. Five nothing. Ford bringing it up. All right, five nothing. Virginia Ford, 15, 16 seconds left. Shelby Moore looking up, like, okay, well, what am I gonna do here? So Jason Mormon gotta be happy how this match is going for him. Good fakes coming out here. Oh, there's a shot attempt. Stretched out. Three. Oh, Shelby Moore's closest attempt coming at the, as time expires. Didn't get anything. Uh, Coach Mormon's calling for blood. Trainer. 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 <laughs> there we go. Coach yeah. Alexio giving instruction. Looking at all these masters. Three attempts that King has to get some team points here. We're gonna have blood clean up. Got some blood clean up going on here. Here we go. Right. 
Six. Doing a little blood time here. Coach Alexio giving instructions. Back to the center, and they're saying, oh, got some more blood over here. They take uh, infectious control, very, very important here. And after last year, especially the men's NCAAs, you had wrestlers that left with some really incredible infections. So they're, they're on top of it. Here we go. Ford taking round right off the whistle. Just, just continue where she left off. Up five nothing. You gotta kind of probably feel like yeah, I can get this tech, huh? Yeah. You have to pick up points on the board and not by chance, right? Leg attack more down block Ford. More recovery inside tie breaks it off. Ford moving forward again inside control head position. Looking right. Oh, Ooh. there you go. It's a single leg. Beautiful transition oh. there. Ford taking her time. Shell looking over the top. Oh, Ooh, putting the back. Straight looking for the right. pin. Look at, looking for four. a chicken wing there. Yeah. She said, B-dubs closed. I'm just get this chicken wing <laughs> on my own. Here we go. She looking up at the clock. Point yep. to get that check. More here. Taking a breath. Coach telling more to hey, stay focused, still in the match. Calling him back over again. Of course, he's getting some water. Right. Coach asking him to just stay focused. Pick away at it. Got some blood on her. Scratch going on the back there. Hit it with some disinfectant. <laughs> Let's see here. All righty. All right, getting the restarted here. Moore got to the finals via Tech Ball, Tech Ball, three, two. To make it get scored, we have a final Tech Ball, Tech Ball. Here we go. This map is Imani Jones in the finals. That's what you hear in the background right now. Here we go. Four chasing it down, and there, there it is. Technical fall, 11 nothing. So Virginia Ford will be in the finals against Imani Jones. After Ford took out number one seed, Shelby Moore, she'll see number two seed, Imani Jones, in the finals. A lot of upsets here on our map today. Yeah. All right, up next. Delone from King versus Sarah Sterner. Sarah Sterner's had a tournament. Sarah Sterner by way of Morro Bay High School, Morro Bay, California. And Coach Albert Garza in high school takes her way over North Central. Coach Norton, she genuinely loves her school. Because the environment, everything. Comes from an awesome family. She'll face Maria Vec Baez de Long. Malone got here by Tech Fall, Tech Fall, Tech Fall. Three Tech Falls giving up no points along the way. Sarah Sterner got in here by a way of two pins, including one over Jennifer Soto to make it to this round. Look at that. Two. Oh, slip throw. Slip throw. Probably the only rule in freestyle. Don't slip throw. Because you got to counter a throw. Yeah. You know, they try to attempt. You know, but I know they want to promote action. 
Sterner coming in, digging underhooks. The long and Coach Mormon got to know, like, Sarah can throw. <laughs> yeah. She can throw, just straight up. Yep. Here we go, back to the center they go. The long really taking center there, huh? <laughs> Off the whistle. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Faking into the underhook position. Everyone looking cross grab. Sterner doing a good job of controlling the wrist, the head. Not letting her go into that fireman's position. She's circling out. Alone got her head in Sterner's pocket there. There you go. Sterner go ahead and defend, circles out. Back to center, here we go. 152 left on the clock this period. to the long first. Sterner changing levels. Getting into that underhook position. The long keeping head in the pocket. Trying to pressure Sterner. And you gotta be careful there because you pressure Sterner too hard, she'll throw you. Yeah. You know, she gets that. She's got her underhook already. She turns those hips so well. One thing that I, I'm happy that she's kept through her high school career. There you go. First point going to, to Sterner. But DeLone getting there and DeLone looking Look at that big move. Sterner smart enough to not give up that big throw there. Yeah. <laughs> Looked like she was ready to load up. Here we go. Sterner take a look at the clock. Defending. Good hips. All right. Back up. Here we go. Restart. Hard hand to the head from DeLone. Every other hook here. Head position for DeLone. The one keeping control of that wrist also. Yeah. Really got a strong grip on it. Sterner trying to pump back it out. Now they got Sterner on the clock. There we go. Just a warning first. 38 seconds left. Sterner going double over. Yep, double overs. The one clears out. Sterner threatening with a fake. The one hand to the face. <laughs> Get that out of here. There we go. Good hand fight going on. 21 seconds left. There we go. Oh. That Sterner changes levels. Alone says, I'm not there anymore. Oh, nice There's shot. That shot. Sterner's smart. Go immediately goes into a base position. Wide knees, heavy hips. Good job. Coming back into the half as a 4 1. Coach Norton. Gotta go to work here. Would like to get this one after dropping uh, uh, 109 Ryan, Kendra Ryan dropping the match. Yeah. You'd like to see if Sarah Sterner could come through and get that one back for you, despite not being the higher seed. All right, here they come, we're back. Back to the center. Coach Norton trying to bring attention to the referee with the hands to the face. They're physical at this level. Sterner here doing a good job circling, trying to stay off that edge, but not give too much pressure for any throws coming that way. There we go. Back up. 4 1. And Sterner's. Not, a, you know, absent of being able to put a four-point move on the mountain and just take the lead all right. We'll head up. But generally, if she gets you on her back, on your back, she's finishing you. As you can see by her pins going into the finals. Yeah. Action red. All right, circling. Just doing a good job of keeping position. Not. Letting Sterner have the underhook, but not giving her head position to be able to work from them. Yeah. There's some fakes there. Yeah. There you go. Attention red. Here we go. Now you're on the clock. Lost the contact. Was able to find it. 
as somebody who's never worn contacts, it kind of freaks me out when you do this. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm like, ew. <laughs> there you go. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Otherwise, Stim is going to give up another point. But again, like, not a... You know, straight into a four-point move, even if she gives up the point and she gets the four-point throw, it might be tied, but she'll have criteria. Yeah. Look, one for red. Because of Blue's inability to get her head up. She was warned several times to get her head out of the pocket. So now it's a 5-2 match. Oh. And goes right back to her shot again. 7-2. 55 seconds left. Getting him back up started again. Yeah, you got to finish very low. That's what DeLong is doing. She's not really giving a chance for Stern to jack her up into another throw. Yeah, 35 seconds left. 30 seconds left now. Still going to start picking up her activity. Just really try to get into that position. They're not doing a good job of keeping those elbows down and not giving up position. You know, so she's got the elbows down in front of her. Makes it very hard for her to get her hips loaded. Oh, there it goes. Oh. 30 seconds. Five seconds. Four to seven. Hey, she went after it. Yeah, Let she almost had out. that at the yeah. end. Yeah. So DeLone makes the finals. We'll see Cameron Gear in the finals. Kendra making a bit of a run right now. go. Acock. Acock's one of the ones that caught my eye last year. Just really impressive. I mean, all around. Just now, She's going to see trolling from Simon Fraser and Jade. Who's the higher seat on this one here? Acock is the one. Trollin coming through. That's the four. Here we go. Here we go. Starting our match. Slide by attempt by Acock. Tolan defends, circles out. Snapping from collar tie. Tolan had risk of oh, Acock can slide by again. As soon as Tolan left that risk control and went collar tie, Acock went slide by. Controlling the elbows there, Acock. Passive red. There we go. Back of scoring. First warning. Not going on the clock yet. There we go. Oh, I'm getting hard double unders now. Double unders controlling the shoulders. Acock punching out. Inside control. I think you can slide by again there. Acock looking at risk control. Trolling, thinking better of it. Controlling those wrists. Good heavy collar tie. 
All right, Acox now on the shot clock. Slide by. Still not a whole lot of action there. No, a couple of slide by attempts, but really just heavy hand fighting. I feel like trolling is probably really strong. Yeah. And keeping in Acock, keeping her in really tight, not giving her any room for work. One point on the board for trolling. As Acock was on the shot clock, Acock going knee tap. Trolling just using that underhook to defend. Pressure Acock to the edge. Acock circling back in. Oh, arm spin. Several Simon Fraser goes very good with that position. Look at, a, look at Trollin getting transitioned to the head. Acock going over to the crotch lift. Yeah. And she's got her two. Yeah, there you go. Got her through. Wrestling through in this position. Now Trollin looking to go over the top. Look at that. Acock able to maintain position. Really good just to step over. Slide her hips back. Very good body awareness there by Acock. Trollin probably felt like she was in a good spot there. Yeah. Two to one. 17 seconds left. Do that shot clock. That's how Trollin got her point. Yeah. Acock came through. We're going to the period with a 2 1 score. Acock over Trollin. All right, Coach Norton's going to have some words of wisdom for Acock. Pressure here. Yeah, yeah. Acock has kind of got her head down. Got to be careful not to give up. Running again. Trolling going underhook, hard club, trying to get that head down. Trying to head lock position. And that, oh, there you go. Coach from Simon Fraser was motioning to his athlete to keep that hand fight going. She's in on the shot right now. Acock defending. There we go. Referee stands him back up. Coach from Simon Fraser standing the troll and get back to the underhook. There she goes. There she goes. They caught slide by again. Just, you got to know that that underhook's coming every time she clubs you. Yeah. Oh, they caught. Oh, knee tap there. The half shot. There's two on one on the other side. Elbow pass. Come on, Jay. Oh, attention blue. Here we go. Two one Acock. Forward. Forward pressure. Two minutes. Grab that arm. Don't lean with it. Drop that arm. Let's get under her arm. Come on, Jay. Here we go. Yes. Oh, troll and run it to the edge. Up. And the favorite throws the brick. And like that one. Saying she was grounded. Yeah. Okay. Going to the review. What do you think? Oh, sorry, you said it was on a break. What do you think? Was that was that a step out? I think um, she was grounded. I think she was grounded too. Yeah, looking on the replay up here. Yeah. But again, if you're gonna order, you know, 
reward the, the offensive wrestler. Here we go again. Watch replay again. From the collar tie circle. Oh, I don't know. Did that knee hit? But look at there, that's the warning line right there. That's not the other That's the oh, red zone. Okay, yeah. And then she's stepping. But even then, I don't think it's a full foot out. And I understand it was the whole foot had to be out. But that knee drops. Going far side. That angle's not going to be helpful. Well, we'll see what they decide. View. Looks like they took away the push out point. So the score continues to be two to one. Acock over Trollin. Minute 20 left to go in this match. Trollin going front headlock. Standing. Acock fighting the wall. Trollin snapping down. Acock trying to drag out. Gets back to position. Trollin doing a good job of pressuring. Acock with the inside left hand tie. Trollin got wrist control. Acock has to be careful there. She's trying to change levels to a sitting on the backside. There we go. She's pressuring, snapping one way, going the other. Trollin doing a good job of recovering those hips. Yeah, 45 seconds left to one match. Trollin really has to look like to score here. Yeah. Trollin really trying to work. Acox doing a great job staying out in front, hand fighting, keeping head position, snap down off of that mat. There we go, circle back, take center. Trolling moving forward still, just pressuring it. Acox snap down, go behind. There we go, 4 to 1, 19 seconds left. She's going power half on this. There we go. Yeah, Trollin's going to Trollin's gonna yeah. arm spin. See how Acox controlling that yeah. elbow right there? But her leg's still inside, so there's a... There you go. And there's the two. There's six to one final. Six to one final for Acox making the finals. Here we go. going to go over under position lat drop which is to bread and butter she's got a judo background prior to wrestling very strong position she's somebody who's also qualified for the world team trials at the olympic trials this year so she's done a good job laura boyd age group world team member very good she goes past looking for that single leg which faking, jury moving forward. There she is in that over-under position that we talked about. It's going to be interesting to see what boy gives her. I know she likes going near side to the far leg from what we've seen in previous matches. Mm. Okay, here we go, restart. Was kind of smart for Boyd because Drury was in that over under position 
and Boyd knew like she didn't want to pressure forward, but she didn't want to back up and give up the push out either. Yeah. So she's controlling that wrist of Drury. Going to that single leg, Drury dropping her chest, getting back to that over under position, circling in. And Drury's really setting it up. Oh, Drury's, and Drury's kind of known for that too. She'll kind of force it sometimes, but she doesn't really need to. And she's so strong. I think she would have been another two there, but look at coming out on top, keeping the wrist, and then looking for two on her own. There she goes, and look at, and Drury's very good when she's on top. If she gets you on top, she will finish the match. So you got to be careful giving up back exposures. Now you're looking at a 4-2 match as opposed to a 4 nothing match. Yeah. Just insane body awareness from Drury. But she does have that tendency to go big and she doesn't necessarily need, need to yet. Because yeah. on the edge there, she didn't really need to go big there. Even giving up the one would have been fine. But she knows her body. She's very strong there. Laura Bush very strong in her own right. This is why you don't really want to force anything with her. Jury doing a good job here. Still taking center. She's been taking ground the whole match. Boyd's just kind of not wanting to pressure in due to the threat of the throw. Red High school state finals, one of her king teammates, the other semifinalist, Cheyenne Bowman, one year. So, both them from the southern section. It's too loud. <laughs> Bowman under coach Camilla Gonzalez. There we go. Oh, Drew looking inside trip. A lot of boy keeping position. Reset. Telling her that she's grabbing the wrist, I guess, blocking off. 4 2 score right now, 31 seconds left in the period. They're moving forward, up, lock off. Drury just pressing, jacking up, really pressing, jacking up. Step out. They could really look in position here and gets the one. Good pressure by Drury. Anna fleeing in one, offered. Is it confirmed? Oh, they said no. There we go. Yes, the match here says yes, and one. So now we got a 4-4 match. Boyd with the criteria right now. Snap down, Drury got a snap down position. 10 seconds. Does she go inside trip? Don't want to go outside here, that's for sure. It's bad. Good, Drury just wearing out a little bit more of Boyd's back a little bit. Yeah. Pressuring down, pressuring down. Here we go. Tied score 4-4 four, four with Alara Boyd having criteria. Here we are back to the center with the 4-4 four, four match. Drury going back to work. Slide by single leg attempt by Boyd. Boyd doing a good job keeping her hips back. But the refs can call her. Again, slide by single leg attempt. Drury doing a good job of defending that. Referee calling for red action. Drury continuing to move forward. Coach Norton asking what more is out they need to do. Drury walking her to the edge again, cutting the the mat off and Boyd is slowly circling her. There you go. Boyd able to circle back to center. Keeping two on one position. There we go, snaps out of it. Boyd takes a peek at the clock. 157 left on the clock. Drury with a thumb block. Coming up under hook again. Snap down front headlock position. Heavy down. See if she transitions here. Nope. Back out. Go. Minute 38 left on the clock. Drury going underhook, collar tie. Oh, that uh, is looking tight. Yep, starting to sink in a little bit. Boyd doing a good job of just avoiding the position. The Drury looking foot sweep, not there. Lock in the front, the headlock position. She's got her head locked in position. Going double unders here. 
Well, oh, my body lock. Ooh, and walking out. Oh, and the referee calls it for her second. And one. There we go. Uh, now, that was interesting. Didn't really make the attempt to circle, but gave Drury the, the one-point lead right now with a minute 13 seconds left. I really would like to take the referee's class. I think there's probably things that most people don't realize with it. Snap down for Boyd. Drury recovers. Drew circling. Boyd driving. Drew circling. Boyd's got that wrist position and underhook. So Drew's got the overhook. It's like a kind of a belly wizard. Boyd taking a look up at the clock. Ready. Watch your pressure here. There we go. Referee starts him back up again. Okay, don't block. 40 seconds left. 5 4. Well, there's that underhook. But the jury wants to make the final. She's going to have to be patient here, not force anything. Boyd with the fake. Boyd's going to go outside. There you go, outside tie shot. 25 seconds left, so we're not going to see a shot clock violation. But, oh, looking headlock. Jury staying, staying patient, stepping in front. Stepping in front. And then she gets the take down. Looks up at the clock on your jury. She came in late to the season. They brought her out of red shirt. And she came out for regionals, able to make the finals with a 7-4 win over Alara Boyd. She goes from not wrestling this year to bringing her out of red shirt from regionals. And then here she is, Anya Drury, making the finals over Alara Boyd. It's just really a blessing to be able to say that these kids have been through my club. Anya's one that's a product of Southern California. You know, and just amazing. Good job. Okay, coming through. Dee Dee. Marilyn Dee Dee from Iowa. Number one seed versus London Houston from North Central. Len Houston coming out of high school was a number one in the weight class. There we go. Wrist fight. Fast pace here already on this match. Yeah, they're, they're getting after it. Didi's quickly become, as we said in the previous matches, a, a point scorer for the Iowa team. There we go, DDN on the shot. Immediately going in, looking lace. And she's aggressive here. See how she's not giving up any position? She's just driving forward and just yeah. chasing it down. Both these young ladies, very like tall for the weight. Yeah. Here we go. Snap front headlock. Underhook position for Didi. Lennon Houston keeping control of that, of that elbow. Didi chasing backside. Comes around. Got another two. Showing why she's the number one seed right here. And she's chasing down more. Four nothing. Maryland Didi just chasing down those points. London Houston controlling wrists. Head position. Up oh, Houston going double head center. But Didi defending. Look at that. That was a very good shot. Head in the center. Didi able to just fight that off. He took a finger to the eye. She's shaking it off. Coach Norton getting up. Telling his athlete, hey, take a minute. Blink it out. Blink, blink, blink. Here we go. Oh, 
All right. Didi back center again. Not in his single leg this time. Single Didi leg stuffing attack. the head. Look at Didi stuffing that head, though. And look and at Chase in that. She's so agile in that situation. Look at that. So much athleticism there. Look at that. Just to notice stuff the head from that. But there you go. Got the points. There's a, her two locking up that lace. If points for cookies, Didi's There's gonna be the two. cookie monster. She's just chasing it down. Look at that. Back to it again. One look at that. More, one look at more that. To get that Eight tech. nothing. And look at she's looking tech. And there it is. There's the tech. Marilyn Didi makes the finals of the technical fall over London Houston. One minute, or sorry, two minutes, 16 seconds. Marilyn Didi showing why she's the number one seed. Iowa looking good in that match. Here we go. Up, oh, another one for Iowa that people that look to for point goers. We got Kylie Welker. Gets Cami Senlicky. Senlicky. As you stated before, Iowa, Iowa's Kylie Welker coming out of high school had already made the final of the Olympic trials.
Here we go. Kylie Welker from Iowa. Cami Sanlinki from Waterbury. 170 pound semifinal. Here we go. Snap down here by Welker. Welker snapped down twice. Oh, into a pancake. Looking to finish it early, but nope. So Ricky says, I'll belly out. Give myself another chance. But Welker says, oh, nope. That gut Got that lock. Locks that gut. Run, run, run. Now she goes into the to leg Turk. Looking for that cross arm to get that over. There we go. So Ricky just defending. There we go. Back up. Looks up at the... Scorecard, okay, it's four nothing, let's get to work. Welker looking light on her feet, snap heavy again. Just heavy with those snaps. So Linky getting into that underhook. Welker controlling that wrist. Welker with the head position. Welker pressuring, stepping inside, wizarding out to the front. Collar tie. Heavy hand, snap heavy. Oh, beautiful snap down there. There you go. Looking for that gut wrench there again. There we go. She's, She's got her two. She go. just need to get one more to get that tech. Driving, driving. One more. There and you there go. There she goes. 106. One minute, six seconds for the technical fall for Kylie Welker. Waiting to see who will be in her finals with her. At 170. Here we go. Next up on map two. It's going to be Trey Haynes from North Central. I believe she was last year's runner up. And JC Fuller from Iowa. But we're, we're going to hold the match until we find out who's going to be seeing Kylie Welker in the finals. It's interesting that we could possibly see the finals of the Olympic trials. Yeah. You know, in the women's college national finals because Yelena McCoy and Kylie Welker are both in that five-way round robin that have beaten each other. You know, Welker has lost to Guilford. Yelena has lost to Guilford by beating Guilford also. And then Adeline, I guess, being the queen of all of them. Dang. King's right behind North Central right now. They're closing the gap. This King North Central battle in the semifinals here with By McCoy. one point. Oh, it went from 8 0 to 8 2. Tristan Kelly picking it up, picking up her activity. View the team scores right now, Alicia. Yeah, as of right now, we have Iowa in front at 166 and a half points, with North Central falling behind 
with 143 and a half points. So about a 20 point difference there for first and second place. But second and third could go to anyone. It's with King at third with 142 and a half points. So only one point difference. And then four and down, we have McKendry at 80 points. So don't know if they'll be able to catch up there. But for our top three spots, it's looking good. It's all a matter of that backside, right? How yeah. good North Central does on that backside. You know, Iowa finishes up these next couple of matches here. I'm going to look at the brackets here. Let's see what we got left here. So, the 191. Who has what? So North Central has Haynes versus Fuller here in this match, which will pay big dividends in terms of the team race. And then yeah, only King has somebody in the next semifinal, which will be Guerrero from New Jersey. And uh, Garcia from King on the other map. So this next matchup right here on map two, at 191 is going to have big implications, I think. So let's uh, dive in a little bit here. Tell you what, let's look up every other weight class, okay? You mm -hmm. look up 100, I'll look up 109. Okay. okay. And let's see who's in the who's got what. In okay. The in the finals and then in who's in the wrestlebacks also. So at 100s, who do you got in the finals? We it's should all have. Iowa. It's all yeah, Iowa it's final. all Iowa. And in the concies? Who, um, I'm who? pulling it up here right now. I think North Central has Madison Avila. Unfortunately, only one of the Iowa uh, athletes is going to score points for them but they'll still be ahead of North Central being in the finals. Both of them being in the finals. Yeah, we have yeah. Madison Avila and Martinez from Colorado Mesa. And then, yeah, and then on the other side, we have Lopez and Rodriguez. Okay, so... McCoy had looking for a fall on that other side. Um, at 109s, you're going to have Kehlani Schufelt versus, she took out Kendra Ryan uh, versus Ava Bayless. So that'll be big. Iowa's going to score ahead on that also with Kendra Ryan being in the wrestlebacks for North Central there. Um, who you got at the next weight class? At the next weight class for the finals, we should have, in, well, yeah, okay. In the finals, we have Taylor and Gonzalez, so in another Iowa finals. So they'll score above anything North Central or uh, King bring. Yeah, the table there. and then in the cons, we have Petzinger from North Central That's versus okay. Mendoza from King. And then we also have Chavez and Cernetsky. Okay. Uh, 123. Let's see here. King has Virginia Ford and Amani Jones for North Central. So they'll score ahead of the Iowa on that one. But you're still looking at... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, nobody from Iowa in the Wrestlebacks. Okay, we'll play with that uh, that later. Here we go. J.C. Fuller, J. Uh, Treya Haynes, so this will be big. J.C. Fuller taking center. Haynes looking to go. 
bicep control. Tracy Fuller going leg attack. Haynes pushing her off. Decided to go big headlock. JC Fuller said, no, nope. and the fall. JC Fuller into the finals. Like you said, big implications on that match. Haynes decided to go big move. Staring in the front. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's so cute. All right, so. So we to see who the finalist is for her. She really capitalized. Quickly, too. Ready yeah. for that match. Okay, let's see here. We're on a little bit of a break. That Matt won. Dahlia Garabi in a Hoffrichter. That's a tough match. 8-6. Dahlia, Dahlia Garabi's very light on her feet. We were watching her yesterday, yeah. remember? She's wrestling with a broken finger. Not many people know that. She's tearing it up, though. Good footwork. Seven seconds left on that clock. Next up on our match, Stella Stiegler from Lock Haven versus Kara Brodus from Sacred Heart. Might be your future teammate right there. Maybe. Watch out. <laughs> All right, here we go. Stigler checking in for Matt too. And uh, I think these are Concy quarters, I think. There we go. All righty, just waiting for the opponent for Stella Stigler. Coming through here. All right. Checking in. Kara Brodus, Sacred Heart. One seventy pound constellation quarter final. Winner of this one. We'll get to see, let's see here. Who will the winner of this one see? At least, yeah, let's see. Oh, 
and 70. Oh, they'll see uh, Salinki. That was the opponent for uh, Kylie Welker. So winner of this one will be in the Constellation semifinals. Here we go. Alrighty. Apparently we're waiting. Oh, we're getting informed by Mr. Nahama, the head referee here, with the uh, amazing locks. All right, and fighting here in the center. Broad is taking center mat. Stigler snapping out of the tie. Good motion. Ref looking passive red, but as red drops into a double, runs her feet, looking for headlock. Brodus is running her hips, getting the exposure, stepping over. Oh, now she's got that arm that trapped. shoulder trapped, yeah. Yeah, oh, but here comes Stigler circling. Good job. Good awareness for both athletes. Oh, looking too. Ref really giving the... Oh, confirmed, two offered, two confirmed. There we go, back to the center. Four, nothing for Brodus. As Steger drops in on another shot. Looking up. to pop that head out. Yeah. Holding on to that leg strong. That's a lot of shoulder strength in that. <laughs> She's going, trying to go crack down, back into it. Brodus with the old school Adidas. There we go. Ooh, there's that. Stigler doing a good job yeah. of pressuring back into her shot, but Brodus doing a good job of like, sparing out around again. Really chasing angle, there we go. Nothing, back up, both athletes. There we go on the restart. Oh, no, no. Yep. Smile from Steger. 
<laughs> I like some of that. I'm not against it. More oh, underhooks here from Stevens. Oh, we saw looking earlier, headlock then. here. In this round, they have not been great. <laughs> 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 they have not had a high percentage. <laughs> ah, kind of slip throw. Coach from Lockhaven sharing my sentiments. <laughs> Here we go. Now they're back. No. They're up on them. There's that two on one here, straight to the under. Oh, oh another head and yeah. arm attempt. But Steve did a good job of getting her step in front and thereby another neutralizing slip. the rotation. She slips that arm out. Look at Stigo doing a good job of keeping the arm. Okay, here we go. Now she's going head lever. All right. All right, wrist control here. Four to two match after the first period. Oh, First period there. Here we go, restarting again. Coach Matt Lackey, see what he had to offer the Lockhaven Stiegler. Here we go. Brodus taking center again. Brodus with a 4 2 lead. Clears the tie. Stiegler just staying inside control. Road is trying to push head position. There's Stigler that. with a good club. She's taking shots, which is end up on the bottom. There you go. Brodus is goes single leg, runs the pipe, coming back up with her gut wrench. Yep, back up they go. 6-2 match, 2.05 left in the second period. Brodus over Stigler. Go. Six to two now with two minutes left. There we go. Brodus back on the goal behind, trying to lock up the Another arm. Another two given. Now she's looking at an eight two lead. She's looking high gut here. Pulling Another it. two. There we go. Stigler reaching back. She'll need one more for the tech. And here she goes. And there's that tech. As we, as we speak, there you go. Brodus from Sacred Heart with the technical fall over Stella Stigler from Lockhaven. 12-2. She'll move on, see Wartenberg in the Constellation Semis. All right, here we go. Next up on this map, Sarah Lake from Lindenwood. Jada Arnold from Mount Olive. Here we go. We've 
seen Arnold previously. We saw wrestle yesterday. Very explosive wrestler here. There we go, snap down Lake going behind. in here. Arnold getting warned for passivity. Okay. Or lack of scoring. There we go. Arnold taking center. Lake. Fighting hands. Letting it come to her. A snap down. Oh, pass by look by Arnold. Lake able to circle out. Referee calling for passivity on blue. Here we go. She will be on the clock now. Shakes her head like, yep, okay, I got you. I know where we're at. Oh, Lake oh, fakes again. Fake. She's been really getting her to bite on those fakes. She reacted hard on it. Oh, Arnold looking duck. Don't see that too much, much less at the heavyweight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. Good motion from Arnold. Lake coming in inside collar tie. Got a good hand fight going here. Lake up 3 nothing right now. 30 seconds left in the period. Snap down again. There we go. Push off by Arnold. Late coming forward. If Arnold times that stomp, she probably gets to that leg. Lake showing some explosiveness there. See that? Yeah. She's not really taking a shot. Hasn't taken a shot yet. Yeah. But she's really selling it she's got good footwork she's but she's getting heavy on that foot if arnold starts to time that she'll, there may be an opening yeah yeah she may be able to capitalize on it a little bit more as it stands right now though sarah lake is up three nothing going into the second period Here we go. Referee's checking in. All right, Arnold with the club inside. Lake. Lake being very patient. She upset Julia Ritchie earlier in the tournament. Who was the four seed, I think? There we go. Oh, there we go. See what we're talking play, about? Yeah. This is exactly what we talked about. She's getting heavy on that foot. And she's just starting to get to the know when it was there. Start again. 3-2 match. Lake above Arnold. Two minutes left. 
Let's see if she can get that next takedown. There we go. Fake drag down. There we go. There's a chip nice footwork, huh? Really nice footwork. Red passed it now, 137. All right, now this would give Arnold the criteria if she ends up getting the point. Yeah. They thought they heard the other, they heard the other wrestle. They thought it was theirs. One minute left. Oh no, the first warning on Lake was just a warning. It was not a shot clock violation, by the way. I was wrong. Ooh. So Arnold does even that push out would have. Yeah, would have given her criteria, right? Yeah. Forty seconds left. Are they gonna put Lake on the shot clock? He keeps asking for it. But He's not offering it though. So he let it go below 30, so they're gonna let this pan out. Got blood, oh, okay, there it is. <laughs> Didn't see it, though she turned her head. Oh, there you are. All right. Training staff's right on top of it. Look at that, they're like looking around. Like, got from both sides, I saw trainers coming like, hey, who's got it? Here we go. We got 28 seconds left. Lake with a 3-2 lead over Arnold. You definitely want to be aware of this shot, but you also got to be aware of the fact that this your opponent hasn't taken a shot yet. Yeah. So maybe Arnold uses that to her advantage when she sees one of those heavy setups, fakes, and she follows in behind it. Here we go. Coming back to the center is Lake. I'm over with a couple of deep breaths. Yep. Okay, I guess we're in. Oh. Look at that. Look at that go behind. Look at that tie on the, on the arm there. Okay. 15 seconds left. Arnold's got to go. Lake's playing a very smart game. Here we go. We've got five seconds. Not going to be enough time. Yeah. And Lake will advance on the Constellation Semis. Arnold Russell for fifth and sixth. Actually, no, she'll go for seventh and eighth. There you go. Good sportsmanship on both sides, despite feeling the sting of dif disappointment. You know, these athletes still shake hands at the end of the day and like, okay. Big implications over on uh, Matt three. Kendra Ryan was down two nothing. Scores a two on Danielle Danny Gomez. Hey Garcia, sorry. Garcia. Oh, coming up on Matt two. Madison Avila. By way of California. To North Central. She'll be facing Genesis Martinez from Colorado Mesa. There we 
go. Some hand fighting here over the presenting ankle pick. Martinez coming out of it. Probably going back to it again. So she's got it. Goes back to it the third time. Follows in on a single leg. Comes up with a single. Goes cross trip to her. Oh. And lacking it down. Looking for the fall. She's got to collect that elbow. Keep her hips down. Oh, there we go. Martinez able to figure it out. Get off her back there. Solid four, though, for Avila. Here we go on the restart. Genesis Martinez. Getting her collar tie. Mass and Avila controlling the tie here. Center of the mat. A little head fight going on here. Here we go. 4 0, 132 left in the period. The ref's calling for action blue. Martinez. Wants to see more scoring. Yeah. Avila going back to that ankle pick again. She went three times, then ankle pick to single leg brought that up. Yeah. So, see if she could do it again. Oh, there it is again. again. See that? And then, oh, bailed on it as Martinez kept on uh, wrist control. Yeah. And she's coming up with two on one is Avila. Martinez able to square up with this. Ref's calling for 35 seconds left in the first. Just warning blue for inactivity. Or non scoring. Avila keeping her in front. 20 seconds left in the period. 4 nothing score lead for Madison Avila right now. There we go to their corners. 4 nothing lead for Avila at the break. Got a head fight going on here. Club inside for Martinez. All right, here we go. Looking for action. Martinez, Avila with the inside control. You probably can't see it on the computer, but when you see their, these wrestlers' foreheads after matches, it's really something. Wow. There we go. One point for red. Inactivity from blue. Non-scoring. Not a passive call. Or not a stalling call. An in-scoring call. The difference in freestyle and folk style. Two on one by Madison Avila. Circling, keeping head position is Genesis Martinez. Inside control now for Avila. 
Head fighting. 5-0 lead, 130 left in the second period. And fake into the shot. And Avila has to remember too, you don't gotta take all the shots. You know, Blue is yet to take a scoring opportunity. Calling for Blue action again. She hasn't scored, so they're gonna continue to call on her to open up, attempt to score. Head fights there. One minute left on the clock. So, solid hand fight. 50 seconds left. Cleared the tie finally. Here we go, 43 seconds left. Tap, tap. 40 seconds left. 40 seconds. Coach Norton's yelling to Adela. Letting her know, hey, you're in a good spot. Stay smart. Give up little to nothing. There you go, Madison Avila clears out. Oh, did on the single leg, so she saw it. Got to it. 18 seconds left on the clock. So she's at least eating up some of that clock in a safe position. Not giving up anything, looks up at the clock. Nine seconds left. 3 seconds left and Madison Avila will advance to the 3rd and 4th place match over Genesis Martinez from Colorado Mesa. No. 